AI is ready to take over our jobs, our livelihoods, and, you know, leave us with nothing. And I, for one, welcome our new insect overlords. I'd like to remind them that as a trusted TV personality, uh, I can be helpful in rounding up others to toil in their underground sugar caves. But, in the meantime, let's have some fun. Let's see, can AI install Gen 2 Linux? This is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Let me explain the format for you here. Obviously, AI can't directly install Gen 2 for me, or at least I haven't got the skills to make it do that. Probably don't want it to either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask ChatGTP via Bing, because it's the free version of ChatGTP 4, the steps and how to install Gen 2. I will try and clarify everything and not use my own prior knowledge beforehand. Now, I am going to try and paraphrase the responses by the AI into a voice, so you don't really need to read the screen as much. I know, you can thank me later. But be aware, this video might look simplistic, but Christ, this is going to be the longest editing video I've probably ever done. So I'm going to ask you very nicely to please drop a like, subscribe, maybe even just visit my Patreon. As a little thank you for all the effort that I put into this one, just for your own entertainment at the cost of my sanity. Hello, I'd like to install Gen 2, please. Could you teach me step by step? Installing Gen 2 is definitely an involved process, but I can guide you through it. 1. Download the Gen 2 installation media. 2. Prepare your disk partitions. 3. Set up networking. 4. Set up the Gen 2 base system. 5. Configure the kernel. 6. Install necessary system tools. 7. Configure basic system settings. 8. Install a bootloader. 9. Reboot into your new system. Would you like to start with downloading the install media? Can we start with partitioning the disk, please? Sure, let's move on to partitioning the disk. Open the terminal and type lsblk to find the block device you are using. Okay, it's told me... Uh, it's told me the disk is at slash dev SDA and I have 30 gigabytes of space. Suddenly type sudo fdisk dev SDA. It says sudo command not found. In the Gen 2 live environment you are likely already root so juicy type fdisk dev SDA. Then type g to create a new GPT partition table. Create a new partition for root with 20 gigabytes and a swap partition with 2 gigabytes of space. Change the type of the swap partition by pressing T and then changing the type with number 19. Finally type W to write the changes to disk. We can now create the file system with MKFs ext 4 dev sda1 and mk swap dev sda2. So what I've liked about this is it's assumed a lot in the fact of that I'd have sudo installed, I'm already root and gen2. So I saw how it handled that and it did quite a good job there, it just told me I was already root so I didn't need to type it. Fair one, I'll let that one go. When it came to the partitioning though, I did like the fact that it taught me how to make new partition table GPT. Um, it assumed a lot for space though, 20 gigabytes of root space for gen2, not too good. Yeah, I'm going to fill that up rather fast, compiling a lot of packages. And then the swap partition, you, it's not asked me how much RAM I've got. Am I using this system to hibernate or anything like that? It's either a waste or not enough in this situation. And it would have been better off asking me questions, but it doesn't. So, it was nearly there. It's... It's not bad, but it is going to cause me drama later on. But it did do all the steps, and it did tell me how to change the partition types. So I can't be too mad, just not 100% happy. Can you show me how to mount the partitions, please? Here are the commands to mount the file systems. Mount the root partition with. Mount devsda one mt gen 2 Mount the swap with swap on devsda 2 you can also mount the boot partition if you made one at Mount Gen 2. 
So here we go, here's the epic foreshadowing that's just to come. So the mount commands have all worked, but it mentions about a boot partition. And as you remember from the last part, there was no mention of a boot partition there. So, we know there's going to be an issue when it comes to the first boot, don't we? But we're, we're across that bridge when we come to it. Thanks, that worked. Can we move on to the next step, please? Great to download a Stage 3 tarball. Follow these steps. Choose a mirror from Gen 2 website. Use wget or curl to download for the following Stage 3 HTTPs colon double forward slash distfiles.gen2.org forward slash releases forward slash AMD64 forward slash autobuilds forward slash current dash stage 3 dash AMD64 forward slash stage 3 dash AMD64 dash dash 2024 617.tar.exe then extract the tarball. While editing this I realised that I changed directory to slash mount gen 2 and the AI didn't tell me that so that would have been interesting if I did follow those steps along because uh, obviously I would have been unpacking in RAM that this install would have failed. So that's bad on me and bad on the AI there. He didn't ask me what my preferences were for OpenRC or Systemd. I'll wait for the uh, Systemd haters to write in the comments based on AI. And as you can see the URL it gave me does not work. So let's go back and ask. Hey Siri. I get a 404 error when trying to download from that URL. I apologize for the inconvenience. The URL I provided was an example and may not correspond to the actual location of the stage 3 tarball. Here's how you can find the correct URL. 1. Go to the Gen 2 downloads page. 2. Navigate to the mirrors section and select a mirror close to your location. 3. Look for the releases AMD 64 auto builds current stage 3 AMD 64 on the mirror. Or, inside you will find the stage 3 tarball with name like stage 3 AMD 64 and then the date. 5. Copy the link address of the tarball. Once you have the correct URL use wget or curl to download it. So I asked the AI to tell me what to do next. I'm a little bit lassie. So I'm not going to type out every single command that it told me to on the screen for you to listen to. You know these steps fine, just as well as I do. But just one point of interest, it did tell me to do the system D steps still, even though we're not using system D. It's not going to cause any issues, just well, it was a bit weird that it told me to use OpenRC and told me to use the system D mount commands. Then it gets me to char root in and we're sorted. So I think well, this is where we're going to leave it today. It's already taken two days to get this much footage edited. God it's a slog. So once again I'm going to please ask you to like that video just as a thank you and as always for the first ones in the series it's always very helpful for the algorithm. But yeah I'll, uh, I'll go and spend the next couple of days doing another part for you. Keep compiling. So it's clear I have a Gen 2 addiction. Why not help enable me to get new hardware or just cope with the stresses with vodka like these wonderful people you see before you. Prices only start at one dollar and every little bit helps me. Thank you. some upcoming ideas I have are shown on the screen now but obviously it's up to you.